we tend to show the world the side of us that we think is our best side and we control what the world sees. Have you ever wished that you were somebody else? In my teenage years, I used to wish that my hair was straighter and that my nose was thinner, my skin was lighter. I wanted my brain to work faster. I always was waiting and hoping that something would change. And then I left school and I moved to London. I trained as a dancer and I graduated. And then everything did change. Got to perform on stage with Leona Lewis and Paul McCartney and Elwyn John. <laughs> I got to do some awesome things. Was hired by Michael Jackson's choreographer and flown to Japan. I set up a girl group and we performed to industry leaders like Sony. I even won a place in the Big Brother house. And then when I left the world of entertainment, I moved into the corporate arena where I built my business to the world. I just looked like I'd made it. But that voice kept piping up, pointing out all the things that I was doing wrong and all the things that I was saying wrong. And they call this imposter syndrome. It's where you arrive at a destination that you had no idea that how you got there. You don't feel like you deserve it. Feel like you're kind of faking it and someone's gonna figure out that you're not as good as you, you, you appear to be. And you're worried that you're gonna lose it all. It got to the point where I was so overwhelmed, everything going on in my life at the time. I just needed something, I needed a tool. I needed something to, help me, something to save me because I couldn't keep going the way I was. And I remember this book that I'd read, this idea about building yourself up. It suggested that you say these three words. And I said these three words and it changed my life. The three words were, I like myself. And it suggests that you go up to the mirror, you look at yourself in the mirror, and then you say those words. The first time I said those words, it threw a tear that was just so full of, I hate myself. You know, I was 28 years old, I've never said I like myself. I'd said a lot of horrible things to myself, um, but I'd never said that I like myself. And it changed everything for me, everything. Like my self-esteem, my confidence, who I am today. You know, I'm not afraid of really anything. And it's because I started to say those words to myself and the thing is, I grew up in a loving family. I was loved and I felt loved. Um, I just didn't love me. My mum used to cheer for me and she cheered so well for me. She taught me how to cheer for other people. A parent can shape a child's life. And you can do that by helping build their self-esteem, by teaching your child to cheer for themselves and teaching them the power of their mind and how important it is to say kind words to themselves and encourage them to take responsibility to feed themselves with positivity. The world that we live in isn't the same world as I grew up in, but the narrative is the same for every parent. We want our children to be happy and healthy and live a great life. And with everything that's happening in these times, if there's anything that we can take control of is our children's self-esteem. It's how they feel about themselves. It's how we teach them to love themselves. So I'm helping parents do this. I created a product called The Confidence Star. The idea is it's really subtle, it's really simple, it's really fast. You just put the confidence star up on the wall and you introduce it to your child. And you get them to start saying those positive words so that every day when they leave your house and go to school, they've had those words, they've had that little boost. And then when they come home, you give them the little boost again. And it just becomes part of the daily routine. Give your child the gift of confidence. Get them the confidence stuff.